Hey church, Jess here. How are you? Hope you're all doing well. I'd promised Nick a devotional from camp from the top land and despite being there for 11 days, <laughs> hence the, um, the sunglasses, I didn't find five minutes to be able to do that. So I've got the next best thing to the top land at camp, which is a view of the Etihad Stadium over there in the distance and the view from, from our office. Um, so don't switch off now if you're not a football fan, because I promise that's the last football reference that I will make. But I just wanted to share with you today what's what's on my heart, kind of after, as I said, not just seven, but 11 days at camp. I uh, ended up staying a few extra days to help with young adults, um, which was which was great and a real blessing. And um, yeah, I just wanted to, to share a thought really. So the first thing I wanted to share was that God makes a way. Um, there's a verse that had been kind of put on my heart this week actually in the, in the young adults week um, after seniors that is Isaiah 43 18 to 19 forget the former things do not dwell on the past see I am doing a new thing now it springs up do not perceive it I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland God makes a way for us I didn't particularly want to go to camp this year um, I'm not sure for what reason. I think maybe just everything that had gone on, feeling uh, a bit low or a bit, maybe a bit angry at God. Um, and it was the young people at the lane actually that, that really convinced me. Uh, it didn't take too much convincing, but they were saying, Jess, are you gonna come? Are you gonna be our worship leader? And um, that was definitely enough for, for me to think, yeah, you know what, if I can go and help um, bless others, then then that's what I should do but just want to encourage you see God is doing a new thing we need sometimes we have to shake off what has been and gone and what what has passed and um and focus on what God is is going to do and he is making a way in the wilderness he is making streams in the wasteland even when we think um that things are, are barren or bare God is is he's making a way he's preparing a way and he's got blessings in store for us. And I felt that so, so much at camp this year. I just felt um, felt God's blessing in so many ways. And I knew that I would have missed out on that had I not pressed in to the calling that he, that he had for me. So firstly, just want to encourage you that God makes a way. See, he's doing a new thing. No matter what season you've walked through, he's doing a new thing. Secondly, he goes before us, so he doesn't just expect us to go and, and venture out on our own into that into that new thing. In Deuteronomy 31, um, verses 7 and 8, we read that Moses summons Joshua and he says, Be strong and courageous. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And this verse for me, this idea of, of God going before us. Um, you know, there's that line in that song, you hold it all together, you go, you go before me to prepare a blessing, you make a way. He doesn't expect us to walk through things on our own and he will never leave us or forsake us. And because of that, we can be fearless in our faith. And I think that's um, what God's been challenging me about is kind of when we leave camp bubble or when we when we come out of a spiritual high how can we carry that into everything into our, our places of work into um whatever situation we're in and actually we can be we can be fearless because god has already gone before us and i just encourage you what no matter what you're facing god goes before you and yet at the same time because he because he is god he is also able to walk with us through it um so just be fearless in your faith church know that um know that he will never leave you nor forsake you do not be afraid do not be discouraged but be strong and, and courageous in faith and thirdly i just wanted to encourage you that god he um he makes a way he goes before us and he calls us he calls us deeper like it's a, like have a picture of him standing at the end just calling us deeper to him and that kind of that depth that place of depth is for me is like calling us into freedom and 
um, what the verse for the week at seniors was it was John eight thirty two. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And I was encouraging the young people a lot about kind of um, life and life in all its fullness. Just thinking about those things about about freedom, about life in its fullness, and that is what God is calling us to. It's more than we could ask, think, or imagine. And um, I just encourage you all that God is not a God that, um, he doesn't expect us to do things that he hasn't himself done in the sense of that he's, he's known what it is to suffer, he's known pain. And yet he is also a God that knows what it is to love and love well and forgive well. And because of his example, we can do those things we can do those things and we can live in freedom and um one of the blessings this week at camp was was making new friends and one of my new lovely friends joe uh introduced me to a song that was, says freedom i want freedom but not as much as you want me to be free um i just encourage you church that god wants wants you to receive the gift of of living freely and living fully and um the last, the last verse I wanted to share was from Isaiah 43, verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, and the flames will not set you ablaze. We need, we need not fear anything in life, not even kind of coming out of the camp bubble and returning to work and um, having to try and, you know, live as, live as a Christian in a world that that says that that isn't the best way to live we don't even need to fear that because god is walking with us the whole way um so just be encouraged today that god makes a way he goes before us and he's calling us deeper into a life that is lived freely and fully and lived for him thanks very much hope to see you soon